Welcome to Theo Trade. This is Don Kaufman. It's July 12, 2017. S&Ps with about 10 minutes left in the trading day are exploding to the upside by about 18 points over here, but well within their means for the week, which I'll describe here momentarily. First of all, if you're on the wrong side of this move, which many of us happen to be, right? The only thing you can really scream out is yelling, which is kind of ironic. And uh, why am I screaming that out? Uh, this morning, the Janet Yellen uh, Senate Finance Committee speech was released. And ultimately what it said was, you know, it was a lot more dovish than most had expected when the markets exploded to the upside. Why? They're like, it's it, free juice. <laughs> free juice means low interest rates for the rest of our lives. So the bonds rallied and the market likes it as well. Now, pertaining to the S&P 500, so there's still a few minutes left in the trading day, and I'm doing this intentionally because I have been talking about some very, very specific levels, and I, I talked about them even yesterday in prior days over here, and I've been talking about these levels for weeks. Those levels are none other than 2411, okay, and 2438. Well, right now, by the way, this is 30-day, one-hour trade. Yesterday, we actually touched all the way down to 24.11. Today, we've exploded all the way back up to 24.38. And the reason I'm just mentioning that, the range from Tuesday to Wednesday, is because you get so many people that are like, you must sell options, you must sell options, you must sell options. Yeah, well, guess what? In this particular case, look at the span of that move. I mean, we've had a 30-point move in the S&Ps. And I'll remind you, that the entire week, if you guys tuned into this past weekend's video, the entire week in the SPX was only expecting a 23 point move, yet we get a 30 points of action, okay, in a very, very short amount of time. Now, I'll deviate back to just a one minute chart over here. The 2438 does get breached today, okay? However, volume up in this neighborhood is very, very light most likely, okay, if we don't get sucked back to the 2438 here in the next, you know, four or five minutes, of course, there's eight minutes left in the trading day, seven, eight minutes left in the trading day, but if we don't get sucked back to the 2438 now, it's very likely that that happens in the evening trade. Something to think about, you know, people scalp futures in the, in the evening trade and something to think about for you. Okay, so that's one key level we breached it, but we feel like we're just not, you know, we haven't exploded through it. We're very likely to get sucked back down to it. Now, another level that I want to discuss with you pertains to the SPX. Now, the SPX and the S&Ps trade in pretty much lockstep, but I want to remind everybody, again, of the expected moves that we project each and every week and taking a look at the expected moves. So we've moved now to the SPX. Okay, the expected move. Well, this is where the week started. The week started at 24.25. That's actually where the S&P futures were this morning before the yellow news, right? So this is, you know, Monday's trade. This is Tuesday's trade. Here we are Wednesday, okay? We are just shy of the expected move for the week. So sure, I started off today saying s and is exploding up, you know, 17, 18 points, but this is well within the expected move. And again, this range right in this neighborhood, it's about 23 bucks. So we're expecting this move 23 higher, okay, or 23 lower for the entire week. And again, these lines are not, you know, something I draw today. They're, they're projected out, you know, from Saturday to, of course, the end of the week. So one of the numbers you wanna look for in the SPX, if a rally does, okay, continue tomorrow, if there's any persistence to this and it continues, look for us to stop possibly cold when the SPX hits 2448. Getting above there would be a wild move. And again, anytime you blow through an expected move for a week, you can actually get three sigma moves, which is wild explosive moves Okay, contrary. Now, there's another point that I want to make. And, you know, with this, everybody's looking at this move. Listen, there's nothing too deep to think into this move. 
This move is predominantly about Yellen. It's about the Fed. If you look at some of the underlyings, okay, one thing that really stands out is the fact that the XLF, okay, not only isn't it performing well today, I'm shocked that it's up six cents because, of course, with Yellen saying we're going to be very, very slow in raising these interest rates, that's not good for the financials, but the financials are still getting bid up in the face of that. Now, again, as I said, there's not much to think into this, you know, the actual move today. Uh, and I know, again, everybody's going to come out. This was a, a spellbinding breakout move to the upside over here. Listen, we just showed you it's well within what was expected. Okay. And what's even more expected is the S&P is coming back to 2438 in the next three, four minutes over here. Now, as the week progresses, I want to remind everybody, we did in fact, sell premium right here in the SPX. So we sold premium assuming the SPX stays inside of this expected move. For right now, it has stayed inside of the expected move. And we have a strategy that we've been calling our tetrapod spread. And it just kind of means like evolution tetrapod. What is a tetrapod, all right? Well, you got to go back a few hundred million years and there's still some tetrapods alive today, but it has a lot to do with the evolution. And this is evolution of the markets. What we've been doing is been selling premium in the S&Ps and turning around and buying premium inside of the NASDAQ. And if you bought premium in the NASDAQ along with us this week, it's stellar. We are outside of the expected move in terms of the NASDAQ. So very often, you know, I'll come in and I'll talk on these evening videos about direction of the markets and bias and direction of the markets, okay? But in today's session with this large move and everybody's like, oh, we're exploding to the upside. In the end, it's actually working in our favor. Premium selling in the S&Ps versus premium buying in the NASDAQ is still working in our favor. Last but definitely not least, one thing that has really stood it like kind of out to me throughout the course of today's trading session, the volatility futures, they've backed off today, but very, very nominally. There's been almost no reaction from volatility futures. This is the volatility futures throughout the course of the day. I mean, they're totally and completely dead, which it makes me feel like most of the move today is very, very superfluous. It's it's not, again, you know, when people look at like moves like this, they, they'll point out things like volume. The volume in the cash market today is gonna hit like a million contracts of the S&P. It's about as light as it gets. Monday was one of the lightest days we've seen on record for a full trading day ever, okay? Tuesday, we did about a million contracts. Here we are Wednesday. We're lucky to even hit a million contracts. So there's not much oomph really behind this move. And of course, we've got financials coming out Friday morning. Some big financials are coming out, of course, with their earnings here. Again, when you're looking at valuations, looking at the entire marketplace, you do have to start thinking about earnings a little bit. And now we've got a number of key stocks that are not just at highs, but we're now looking again at all-time highs. We're looking at Facebook right back into all-time highs over here. If you haven't looked, again, a lot of different sectors today exploding right back into all-time highs. You look at something like Caterpillar, okay, which is, you know, again, exploded back up to the 110 level and then had a key reversal. So I'll leave you with this idea of how important it is to understand these levels. And I'm leaving with this idea is there's 12 seconds left in the trading day and we are taking a shot to pulling back right into this 2438. Thanks everybody for joining us here at Theo Trade. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.